Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. On to Lucky episode number 13, and, uh, well, last episode we were thoroughly in it with the Pillar Man, uh, Sant Viento. Um, we heard his name is, although I believe there is an original translation of his name, I think is it Santana? Um, something very, very similar, though, um, it has been changed in the, uh, in the the subbing process i assume um so yes we're in mexico the nazis have successfully revived the pillar man um and again they didn't really know what they were dealing with so it's kind of backfired he has showed himself to be more than capable of getting around any of their defenses uh including you know breaking his bones to break into a event um he has killed a couple of the nazis and yeah, I mean, it's really not looking good. Um, I mean, thankfully, Joseph is there. He now knows that um, uh, Speedwagon is alive, uh, which was obviously a bit of a shock to him. Um, and he's, I mean, I really don't know what's going to happen next as to whether he's going to have to work with, you know, Major von Stroheim. Um I mean, he doesn't give a shit, basically. He he really is... He's coming here to find out what's happened to Speedwagon. Um, you know, and he's now presumably going to try and stop this Pillar Man because he knows how dangerous he's going to be. Now, whether the Nazis are going to help or whether they're going to hinder him, I'm not sure. I would like to think that the Nazis are going to get what they deserve. And, um, well, they're all going to die. That would be a nice thing. Um, but with the way this show moves so fast, I honestly don't know what's going to happen. For all I know, this episode could be the one and final showdown between Joseph and the Pillar Man. That could be it then, you know? And then we could move on to the next part. It, it's that, That's how quick this show moves. It's very unusual, but it's also quite refreshing because there's no filler. There's no time to breathe. It is just wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Hardcore action. That makes it sound like a porno. It's really not, though, you know, it is quite explicit. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I've never quite described one of my shows in that way before. That shows you kind of what of an impact it's had. Um, but we are going to jump into this. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, Frank Treble, Karen Abel, Ace, Nick Walters, The Seven Deadly Sins, Damon Smallwood, Michael Y, Rich Affer, Clara Grow Louis and Mr. Greg89. So let us jump into episode number 13 of JoJo's A Bizarre Adventure. Bop. <laughs> what? Again, of all of the ways that I thought this would go, this was not it. I mean, he is <laughs> he's sticking his fingers up his nose. He is true, the Nazis got exactly what they deserved, you know? Oh, shit. He just again walked through. Yeah, he's... He picks up stuff very fast. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah, you. Oh! Does he recognize Hamon? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's just got his fingers in Speedwagon's head. Jojo! Oh, 
Is it gonna work? Uh oh. Oh, his hand is gone. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Hey, this is your fault, dude. Yeah, this is all your fault. Oh, no. Yeah, he's... What? Oh, no. He's unconscious. Uh oh! Oh, he's awake. <laughs> oh, does he want to get inside him to do Hamon now? Oh shit! It was a bait. He ripped him in two. But we know that might not work. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. <laughs> His foot's just... <laughs> Wake up, you Nazi scum. Oh, his hand. But you can still talk. You can't breathe, but you can still talk. Okay. Come on, step up, Mr. Nazi. Do something. Clean up your mess. Oh, he's fast. Now is not the time to posture. Open the door. Open the door. Oh. Chop off his leg? Okay. Um... Just do it. He's a Nazi. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but he's a, still a Nazi. We think differently. That's that's definitely a word for it. Ah. Is he going to be... No, he's there. He's back in... What is he doing? Oh! Yeah, keep chopping. <laughs> Grenade. He's going to kill himself. Just stop it. We're uh, knowing Englishman who lives in America who speaks Japanese. There are many of them. Okay, blow yourself up now. Right, so they knew. Oh, 
So he did know about San Fianto before they broke him out. No, he's got a... Oh, shit. Let's hope it actually destroyed San Fianto. Oh no. Oh no, he's going down the well. <laughs> he's always doing that. He's always predicting what they'll say. What's that? A mirror? <gasps> Reflecting off the water. He did it. So what an utterly batshit insane episode. Um, San Viento only lasted a couple of episodes, but they didn't sacrifice him without a bigger purpose. Even though I, I imagine that he was going to be, you know, a, a big villain for Joseph. As it turns out, there is another Pillar Man. In fact, there could be multiple Pillar Men all around the world. And so... Whilst Santi uh, San Viento may not be uh, Joseph's villain, certainly the Pillar Men in general are. So he's now got to go and find out where they are. He's got to build up his ham on, and he's got to find another weakness other than sunlight. Because you can't just depend on that to beat them. Um, Again, Joseph's ballsiness when facing down a monster that can literally absorb people and the confidence that he has is on another level I've never seen before you know like I've seen positivity I've seen confidence I've even seen arrogance but I've never seen anything like what Joseph Joestar protrudes it is on a separate level completely and it's fun it's fun to watch it's a bit weird seeing him work with a Nazi and then feeling bad for a Nazi and not wanting the Nazi to kill himself. I suppose, I mean, if this is 1938-39, then the world doesn't know the true extent of what the Nazis are doing at this point. They are just seen as aggressive invaders um, who, yes, have, you know, sort of limited the rights of a certain number of people. They don't know about the death camps and stuff like that yet, so... Maybe that's affecting his, um, you know, his feelings towards the major. But uh, I'm I'm happy to see the major blow himself up. In all honesty, um, but you know, he survived. Speedwagon survived. But it's interesting to note that the Nazis knew about the Pillar Men, so it makes me think that they found the one in Europe first. That may have led them to the one in Mexico. Um, and so now they're trying to, they're using the one in Mexico to try and find ways to, you know, be, to beat them and, and maybe, you know, experiment on them. Obviously, that went very, very wrong. Um, I would certainly hope that, you know, the Nazis are going to learn from what happened in Mexico. Um, but I don't think they will. I think it's probably just going to get worse. Um, but a very interesting episode. Again, batshit insane. Absolutely batshit insane. That's all I can really say about the show so far is just batshit insane at every corner. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll uh, I'll see you for the next one.